For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. We reached 500 subscribers this week, so we'd like to thank all of you, the new ones and the old ones. This week on our journey along I-75, we are taking you on a tour of Maumee Bay State Park in Oregon, Ohio. This park is on beautiful Lake Erie. As we were driving to the park, we passed the largest mosque we'd ever seen and drove past refineries in an industrial area. We hope you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed the park. Check-in was easy since we had reservations. Enjoy the drive into the park and to our campsite. The back end site had a paved pad that was pretty level. It was a fairly large site and private on three sides. We were in campsite 35 and we had an electric hookup only. There was fresh water and a station to dump the gray water very close to our campsite. The campground also had excellent laundry facilities. So we are at um a park in Ohio and there it only has electric it doesn't have water so we bought these plastic bags they're five gallon bags and Joe came up with the idea of tying them to the ladder um, we bought a um, little fitting that goes into the bottom of the bag we hook it to a hose and we let it drain into the tank um, we fill up four bags and usually by the time you know, our tank is about half full, so this fills it all the way up. There was a boardwalk trail around the back side of the lodge, and we enjoyed the walk. The water was covered with this green algae, and all the trees looked dead. We're not familiar with the area and not sure about the trees. Let us know what you think. Good morning, everybody. Um, we're at Lake Erie, standing in front of it. Nice windy day. Yeah, it's a little cool. Up 70 degrees. Bikes over. The water is warmer, much warmer than I expected. Enjoy the pictures of this beautiful park on Lake Erie. According to Wikipedia, Lake Erie is the fourth largest of the five Great Lakes in North America, with a surface area of 9,990 square miles. It is also the shallowest of the Great Lake, with an average depth of 63 feet and a maximum depth of 210 feet. The lake was named by the Erie people, a Native American people who lived along its southern shore. The tribal name Erie is shortened form of the Irigonquin word Irilhona, meaning long tail. Heading back toward the campground. We're out for a walk in the evening after dinner, which is a little different for us. We usually are curled up with a book about now and a glass of wine and settled in, but for some reason, we're out and about this evening. We are so glad we were out and about in the evening. The wildflowers are beautiful. The deer were everywhere and were not afraid of people. They actually posed for photographs. We were able to capture a few shots of birds also. So this is our last day here at Mahi's, I think, I don't know how to say it, Mommy State Park in Oregon, Ohio. And we're sitting outside, it's about 80 degrees, it's been really nice here. Um, we wanted to talk about some of the things we really liked about the park and some things we don't like about the park. And there's a lot more likes than there are dislikes. Um, so do you want to start, Joe? Well, the weather's been great. In the Evenings it's gone down, well overnight it's gone down into the 50s the last two nights, so that's been great. Mm -hmm. We went two whole days without running the air conditioning, although it's back on today. Mm -hmm. So that's been good. Mm -hmm. The park is right on Lake Erie, so it's pretty scenic. There's a nice beach area, mm -hmm. and uh, there are actually people swimming today. Uh, there are really nice walking trails. And biking trails, I guess, are paved. 
the trails go kind of all around the park. You can definitely get your 10,000 steps in. Easily. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, back to me. I have to tell you, I did the laundry today and it's the cleanest laundry room I have ever been in in a state park. <laughs> I was totally impressed. It was very cool. Um, that Seven dollars for two loads. Yes, yeah, so that was a pretty good price too. So, um, that I just wanted to say a comment about the staff here. There were, I guess, they're the volunteers that are watching out for the park. They're very nice, very um, friendly. Came up and talked to us. Um, said waved. A lot of people just waved. They were very nice in the park. That was a real positive. Um, one of the negatives is most of the sites don't have water. So I think almost all of them have electric, 30 amp, mm -hmm. but the sites don't have water, so we actually are only here four nights or five nights, and we had to go get water yesterday. Four. Four mm -hmm. nights, so mm -hmm. we had to go get water we, with our five-gallon jugs, which you'll see a little video of, mm -hmm. and one of the ladies riding around on the golf cart kind of offered to carry the water for us. It's, mm -hmm. They have water stations. It's about three campsites down, so it's not that far, but I'd rather have her carry 20 gallons of water than me yeah. on the golf cart. That worked out good. The park's really um, well <coughs> manicured. It's nicely mowed. At this time of year, it's very green. There's lots of wildflowers all around. We saw a lot of wildlife, some deer, and we'll show you pictures of those. Um, we actually saw some really good sized bucks. If it mm -hmm. were Florida, they would be huge. Yeah, they are really I much bigger. <laughs> for Ohio, they probably weren't. Mm -hmm. I think overall, this has really been a very positive experience for us. This has been a great park. The only negative, like Joe said, was having to carry the water, but that really wasn't too bad. We have a good system now of um, getting the water into our tanks, so that worked out good. Um, the other negative is our site is... Oh gets the full afternoon sun so like today it's baking with that big huge front window we have mm -hmm. even with the magnet shade yeah we bought the magnet shades but we've had to use the reflectix also inside and that is you know it's been able to maintain you know between 77 and 80 degrees it's no problem with one air conditioner so it hasn't been too bad but there's um we've you know since we aren't don't have any sewer hookup We've had to be careful with our tanks, so there is a nice gray water a place where you can dump your gray water, the dish water. We've done that. It's really right next to this campsite. We're in campsite number 35, um, which is very pretty. The campsites are pretty private. I felt really comfortable doing my exercises outside here because it's, it's pretty private on three sides. Okay. And as people are walking by and there's a guy sitting out mm -hmm. who can hear us and see us talking, but mm -hmm. it's still, it's a really nice wide mm -hmm. campsite. Yeah. We have, there's obviously nothing behind us. Mm -hmm. And in front of us, a big fifth wheel just pulled in about an hour ago. Mm -hmm. There were a couple people camping there. The sites, I mean, I would say the campground is probably two thirds, three quarter full. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty full. busy place. It's very busy. Mm -hmm. um, again, it was, it's right on the lake, so that's a really nice scenic area to walk mm -hmm. around. Um, it's nice a beach areas. Yeah, it's a little mm -hmm. on the expensive side. Uh, it's a good thirty. It's at, it is thirty dollars a night, mm -hmm. and then they have some sites that are full hookups. I think they were thirty eight dollars, mm -hmm. but we didn't get one of them. No, we made our reservations most of them about a month in advance. No, okay, and. It, Okay. In well, this is most peak of these season, places, so. it's been hard for the weekends. So mm -hmm. the weekends are what drives where we stay. Mm -hmm. If we can get a place that covers the weekend, we're good. Yeah. All good. Overall, the ca two campgrounds we stayed at in Ohio, we're like in Ohio. Mm -hmm. It's really nice. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel.